Hey guys, what's up? So, I'm not sure if you can see that, but what I have here is a Cisco UC560. I'm trying to troubleshoot it here, and uh, yeah, I'm not on my test bench, so it's not I'm trying to relax here. <laughs> so, it's hard to, I'm troubleshooting for hours, I'd rather just sit down on my chair. Um, Alright, so this is what I'm getting here. So, I'm getting a session denied. Can't get this thing going. So, let me do a quick status. I have a feeling this thing is jacked. And what I've noticed is actually and failed. The, the device module has failed. I don't know if you can see my finger right there. So um, what I've noticed is uh, I mean I've installed a lot of these units. You know, I used to be a small select certified partner in this voice stuff. Was, went through all the certification process, all that stuff. But um so I still actually have probably about 50 of these things installed that are in operation. So I'm still kind of maintaining these things. Um, so what I've noticed is the actual, the Cisco UC540, UC560, they have more hardware failures internally for the uh, Q module. Like the Q itself seems to fail, the hardware. Um, whereas the UC520 just seems to, the flash card gets corrupt. So, um, don't know, the configure is a little bit different for this UC560 with the VLAN 90 and all that stuff and the default configs from Cisco. So, yeah, I've taken this phone system, I've totally default configured it just to make sure there was nothing weird going on. But, yeah, I mean, the module, I can't even seem to session into this thing, even like when I reset it. So, like, my normal means of fix, fixing this card, which is doing a session, you know, doing that session command. Um... So I can't even get into this thing. Even when I try to reset it, if you watch one of my other videos, I, uh, I, I log and repair UC520 by having multiple consoles open up and do a reset session. But the fact that I can't even session into this thing is, you know, I, I can't even even load, get to the bootloader to reload the, uh, the OS on it. So, so I think I'm going to take part of this hardware and see if I can reset whatever's on there, maybe memory. I don't know what the hell's going on with this thing, but... Um, all right, cool. I'll take it apart and see if we can figure it out. But. Uh, so this actually, we got this thing on second hand on, on eBay here. But one thing that kind of makes me a little nervous is that this safety screw, it's not really a safety screw, it's like an anti-tamper proof screw, is missing. So that usually is a, it fits under the cover here, so you don't normally see it. So if you don't know about it, you can sit there and spend a long time trying to pry this thing open. But some of the design changes from the UC520 and UC560 is they actually started using an external flash card for the voicemail module 2 gig and increase the size of it and the UC560 could actually handle more phones and has gigabit interfaces so um, yeah this thing didn't actually come with a card so I had to put a bunch of files together to make it work because you really can't even find the that you can you can find the file, but if you don't have a service can track, you can't download it. So, total pain in the ass. So let me get this thing open, and I'll show you the inside of this thing. Okay, here's a quick look at this device. It's a little bit different. It's definitely different than the UC520 series device. Uh, same thing. The uh, even though the the case cover it covers that up, but it's actually a full size uh, T1 WIC card or VWIC for uh, on this device. It's designed for a PRI circuit. Um, so I'm gonna have to take this motherboard. I'm just gonna reseat the memory. Uh, these are the P these are the DSPs, PD uh, VMs, and uh, PVDM. And this is for conferencing and other hardware resources of the uh, iOS. So that's I I, get, I don't know which one is which what which one is the RAM for which, but there's definitely something going on with this thing and won't boot up or I can't even session into it so. Um, all right, I'm gonna take a quick closer look, put the pull this board off, and see what I can see. All right, here's a shot of the main board. If you just you just comes off like that, you have to take the mounting screws off. It pops off, and um, so I have two pieces of RAM here. Um, with with the Cisco Q, it all the information is stored in the flash card. This actually runs a Linux-based OS, and the flash card is like a computer hard drive. 
So this actually has all the OS, the Linux based OS, all the configurations, all the voicemail, all the auto tenants are all stored in this flashcard. Um, I'm really hoping the module, that's one, that's one thing unique about the UC500 series, is that the actual, the Q module is part of the motherboard, the main board. So with either like a Cisco iOS router, uh, you might have a network module that goes in the back of it, or you might have an AMI Q module that pops on the motherboard, but you can pop it off and replace it in case it fails. So you don't have to replace the whole router. Whereas the UC500 series devices, um, you know, it was, you had to totally uh, replace the whole device. So if Q fails, the whole device is useless. So, well, go back, clean the context. This, this should be the 500 meg should be the, I think should be the, uh, this should be the iOS memory. So uh, what is it? 512. Okay. Right, I'm going to take this off and just clean the contacts with alcohol. Just in case. Oh, oh, ah, that's not good. <laughs> Alright, so this is a 1 gig. It's a 1 gig stick. Alright, well. It sucks that I can't really do much about it. You know, it's not really... I guess I could try putting in a flash card, but I just need this thing to fail so I can reload. If I, can, I, I can't session into it, so I can't reload the iOS, or the, not the iOS, but the uh, Q. So, freaking annoying. So, yeah, that's weird. That I, I mean, I, all my VLANs look correct, all the routing looks correct, so. Um, look for any burnt capacitors, maybe any obviously burnt hardware in here. I don't see any, so. Okay, cool. So I'm gonna keep on. Uh, I'm gonna put it back together and fire it up. All right, guys. I don't even know if you guys can see this or not. I guess this thing will focus in or not. But do a servids. And now we're getting uh, modules waiting for a registration message. And I don't think that's actually good. That's I think equivalent to like a computer BIOS boot screen. Uh, because really, the key module is really just like a like a mini computer. Um, it has its own little processor, its own memory. And uh, I'm getting that. That's not usually a good sign. So, um, yeah, the line is right there. Model uh, trying to recover. Okay, now I'm going to recover from error. Okay, that's different. All right, so I'm going to try a different flash module and maybe a different piece of RAM. We'll see. All right. Okay, guys. So that's the original memory out of there. Uh, right there, and I actually decided to grab two extra pieces I had laying around. Looks like it's CDR2 sodium, so right now, no luck really kind of getting this thing to pop. So, I'm gonna try some different memory, see what happens. Okay, guys, still getting a uh, different kinds of errors with this thing. Trying to recover, so usually, if it's this bad. It's usually some kind of hardware problem because I've tried different pieces of RAM, different flash, and uh, like I said before, typically with the UC520 series, it was just a bad flash card. Like they had like a really bad batch of flash cards, you know, like, and it, it usually happened when you power up the device randomly, you know, it would get corrupted. But with the four, 540 and the 560, they seem to have a lot more hardware problems. So, um, if something else happens i'm gonna keep on keeping an eye on this then I'll, I'll continue on or i'll come back with a video um but right now it looks like this thing has failed so if you're getting the same messages then this thing is probably much pretty much failed so um kind of screwed here so um yeah i mean i can't even get into the bootloader to load the os so if i can't get in the bootloader i can't fix this thing so it's almost like the uh, it's not booting up correctly. You know, it's like not going to the BIOS and actually sending the acclimol the uh, no, I can't even talk right now. But it's uh, sending back the uh, it's called a registration message to the Cisco IOS to tell that the thing is operational and available. One more time. Yeah, half these commands won't even work. Like, like I can't even do a shutdown. That has to at least be. 
in boot mode. Like I said, it's. I mean, I, I can't even shut this thing down because it's not even in bootloader mode, or it's not actually even booted up. So I tried. That was the reason. What reason why I put the extra flash card? I put a blank flash card in there because, in case this thing was sort of like trying to boot up, and uh, what happens is when the flash card gets corrupted, it'll go into like a like a reboot loop. You know, with uh, trying to load the OS on the flash card. But uh, the fact that I can't even shut this down means this thing's not even in bootloader mode. Or it's not, I don't know, it's almost like it's a dead module. But it's freaking sucks I can't take it off. It's built onto the motherboard, so it's... The whole whole device is jacked. The whole router, you know what I mean? So I put that piece of paper on there to keep the, uh, the uh, cool air going over the uh, heat sinks. So... Um, well, I mean, if something changes, I'll come back to this video. If not, then it's a failed device. So, nothing I can do about it.